you'll always see the bad side of things when you get in too deep. I never thought this would be the case when I decided to be a hitman. Like every other hitman in this world, I started out small. I never got trained when I was a child, nor do I have a barcode on the back of my neck. The company I work for get marks from a bigger company, which then gets passed on to me or any other guy who's up for the job. Some hits can be easy. Some hits can be difficult. I thoroughly look through the file I'm given to make sure I'm not about to hit an innocent man some rich guy doesn't like. No, I only go for the scum. The real sick and arrogant ones who would call in to whack their own family members. These are the kind of guys I want to kill. Being a hitman is quite a dead-end job. I mean, the money is good, but there aren't many perks. I don't get discounts in shops. I don't really get noticed and praised for my work. I do get to pick my own hours, though. I've been doing this for so long, I've kind of forgot how I got into it. Ah, uh, Lars, take a seat. I've got a job for you, real quick one. Right hand man of some drugs boss wants us, you, to kill a good friend of their drug rivals. Guys willing to pay us, you, 150 G's for it. Look at this guy, rich and arrogant. Life revolves around drugs, no family. All right, I'll take care of him. Good. Now, you'll have to make it quick. When you see him, you'll only have about a minute. Okay, he'll be coming out the back of the building to get his ride. How do you know he'll be there? The right man has been monitoring him for quite a while, it seems. This guy's all about drugs and sex. He'll be doing the same thing every day. All right, I'll see you when I see you. I'm here waiting for this guy to come out. I never really have anything else to do, so I like to come up early and keep it safe. 150 Gs to kill this guy. Maybe after this big payoff I'll retire. 150. How nice must you be to be wanted dead that much? Yeah, it's him. Yeah, he's here. Who is this guy? He knew I was here to kill him. How did he know I was here to kill him? There isn't much to this job. As dangerous as it sounds, it's actually quite simple. They have a person or a team to get the information about a mark, just to find out where they eat, what their daily routines are, and when the best time is to kill them. I only do the killing and get paid for it then lay low for a couple of weeks or months, depending how big the job is. It's as simple as that. Ah, uh, Lars, did you get the job done? It was a setup. What? The guy you sent me to kill, he knew why I was there. He tried to kill me. I've taken care of him. Did you get anything from him? Did he say anything? No. I would have given him the wallet, but then I wouldn't have found out who this guy was and why he tried to kill me. Can I just get my pay? Sure. Here. You'll be fine. Not many people like us. It's just probably some schmuck trying to dent our business. This was too planned to just be a friendly rivalry. I'm leaving. What are you going to do? Nothing. He's just some schmuck, right?
Wire is very good at finding people. He used to be in forensics, but now helps us find people. He's also an old friend. Someone wants me dead. No, you? Really? A lot of people want you dead. Yeah, but whoever this guy is and whoever he's working for know me and what I do. They've already tried to kill me. Damn. I mean, are you okay? What? I mean, how, how do you feel? Is that, are you... I, I, I'll look this guy up. But it seems your friend was in a drug bomb. Hmm. The leader is Italian descent, so he and his gang like to act all Italian. You know, there's quite a few of these gangs around these days. Just keep going. Now let's see here. Ah. Well, that's not good. What? It says here he came a main man about a year ago. Becoming the main man is quite an honour. You just can't kill a main man, it doesn't happen. You have to have a sit down with the mob if you want to do that. This wasn't in the file. This is very important information. How did that not get in the file? There's going to be a lot of people after you, Lars. I think you were set up. I know. No, I mean this job was especially for you. Go on. Either the guy killed you, or you killed the guy and got killed by the mob anyway. It's almost like they were framing you. Without framing you. Anyway. It's not safe here, Lars. You need to get out. What? They're going to be looking for you. You need to get out of here. the best hitman out there, but then again I'm not really the worst. There is a lot of hitmen working alongside me who are part of the same company. We don't grab some food to eat together after a long day's work. We aren't allowed to meet each other. We have allocated days to go see the boss for a job. If it's urgent and they need the right man, we get called in. I don't really know why we aren't allowed to meet each other. All the boss man said is it's bad for business. You to make this hard, didn't you? So it was you. You set me up. You set yourself up for this. You think it would be fine to just choose to kill the bad people? The people who pretty much run this place. You made a lot of people angry over the years. And now, people will pay a lot of money to have you dead. It's over, Lars. Let's just do this quietly. You kill me, you end up a lot worse than just being knocked out. These people will talk to you till you want to die. He's right. I can't run forever. 
they'll eventually catch me. He's doing me a favour. I guess if the motive is money, it can never be stopped. It's not a job I'm proud of, but it's the only thing I can do right, so I do it. Being a hitman is a dead-end job, so every day I have to wake up being ready to die.